Good morning, Jared here from Focus Group Florida Keller Williams Realty. Uh, Focus Homes, your local custom home builder and Focus, Focus Remodels. When you love where you live and you want to make it better. Okay, it's Tuesday Real Estate Roundup. Um, so the big headline of the week is only 64% of the new sales, new pending sales, were replaced by new listings. So that was a pretty big shrink in inventory. We'll get into that as we go. So in the past seven days in Lakeland and Polk County, we had an uh, average house was a three bedroom, two bathroom at 1,759 square feet. Average list price of 187.43. Average sold price of 182.22. These are both for square foot prices. Average list price at 329.186. And the average closed price at 319.912. That made it an average sold price versus list price of 97% and the days on the market's up to 44 days. So let's have a look at the individual zip codes, what's going on. We had a couple that had more listings than sales and that was 33801 and 33803. Both of those were between 110 and 115% replenishment ratio. But then also on the flip side, we had 33805 only had 28% of the new pendings were replaced by new listings. That's a really low number. 33815, we only had 33%, so only one in three of the houses taken off the market was replaced by a new one to sell in its place. Um, and then you'll see on the graph, we have 33810, 33812, 33811. Basically, everything besides the two I said were all under 100. That means they took more homes off the market than they put on the market. So that's what's going on this week. So in Lakeland, we're at 65.2% of new pendings were replaced by li new listings. And in Polk, we're at 63.1%. So between the two, about 64% in general uh, for our area where uh, new pendings were replaced by new listings. Uh, the average closed price. Uh, so in this case, um, we actually are, have been pretty steady, which I find somewhat fascinating the last few weeks. If you remember, the average price gain appreciation over time in the very, very long term is about 4%. And it just so happens that the last few weeks, um, it's been 4%. So 4.25, 4.09, 4.11. I just found that was interesting because that's a, a little bit of statistics from just housing history. Um, but it's in the 4%, which is very, very normal. Um, so we actually have seen a little bit of price appreciation year over year by week for the last three weeks in a very normal range. Now, I will say that the days on the market at 44, it has not been this high since about February 2021, as I'm looking at the past. So it's um, this is the highest it's been for a little while, 44 days on the market. So that gives sellers a little bit of an expectation. Even though it's a seller's market, things are taking a little longer to come off the market uh, right now um, as buyers are seeking out uh, the best homes for them and their situation and their financing. Uh, let's see, pending sales. We actually had um, about even um, this last week. Um, the week before, it was 65 new sales for Lakeland, 69 new pending sales this week. Um, and then in Polk County, we had a little bit of a jump at 236 and went up to 287. But if you look at the last four weeks for Lakeland, 64 pending, 88 pending, 65 pending, 69 pending. So we're in that we're in that um, mid 60s to 70 range for a couple weeks now there. And in Polk, it's been a little bit more volatile. Uh, last four weeks, we had 314, 328, 236. 287. So generally, just around that 300 mark is where we're hovering around there. And if you look on average, the last uh, approximately year, we were hovering over the 400 mark for the county. So this is uh, this is a bit lower. And if you look back on past graph around the December time, you'll also see a dip, and then you'll see that increase in January. Um, people still need houses. Uh, that means that demand is a little bit pent up. So we'll see what January brings for everybody. Uh, all right. So on our cancellations, our withdrawn expired listings, a um, little bit higher. We had uh, 20 withdrawn this week. That's the high in the last four weeks. But we only had um, two withdrawn and five canceled. 
So in the scheme of things, that's still a very low number compared to all listings. We did get our months of supply data for November, but a month behind for the Association of Realtors. That's kind of how it is. And this month it shows that we actually have 58%. So this is the highest it has been since January 2020. Uh, to give you some perspective, we have 3.5 months of supply. We need six months to be equilibrium. But we have 58% of the needed homes, meaning for every 15, 58 homes available, there's 100 buyers. So if you do the, do the math, that's two two plus buyers per house available. And so that's why they're shopping around. Um, um, however, that does mean that we have 42% shortage of houses. So the inverse of that is we still have a big deficit in the amount of houses on the market for people to choose from. So that's why it's a, it's a, it's a tricky balancing act uh, between uh, what's available, days on the market, the pricing, and we know that uh, the interest rates right now are a little bit higher than they were. So people coming into the market who aren't used to that. My first home, we were thrilled that we could pay a little money and get the interest rate all the way down to 7.75%. So even though we're in the sixes right now, it's still amazing. Our first home, uh, it, was, it was much more. And uh, it obviously getting into something is better than renting. <laughs> 100% because you are paying your mortgage, you're not paying your landlord's mortgage. Um, but anyway, so that's where we are. 42% shortage is the latest number. Uh, three and a half months of supply out of six, and that equals about 107 days out of 180 days of supply needed. We're this close, literally this close to reaching our annual give back goal, 59,988. 68,000 is the goal. So thank you very much for everyone, uh, all the professional fees. Uh, generated from our business uh, go to help give back to the community so we really really appreciate you and we think you're fantastic uh, active listings um, we've been hovering around 700s and 3500 respectively for Lakeland and County so the last four weeks we've been at 695 700 712 681 so this past week we took a, a dip which we talked about earlier we had more uh, pending sales than listings and same thing happened in the county last week. We had, well, sorry, Lakeland last week we had 712. This week we had 681 on the total number of listings. And then in Polk, we had 3629 last week with 3506 this week. So over 100 fewer homes in the county um, than last week for sale. Um, let's see, on our price drops, um, uh, the, it looks like the we're getting closer. The price drops have been going down. Um, so three weeks ago, it was 524 of the listings had a price drop. Last week, it was 512 listings had a price drop. Uh, and this week was 462. So you see a slight decline in the listings that had price drops uh, this past week. All right, so that's our roundup for this week. Let me have a look at the calendar and see what's going on, if anything, in the area. I think it's pretty calm. I think everybody had an amazing, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. I know the last few weeks have been very busy with the various uh, celebrations and parties and things going on. Um, so I hope you had a great time. Uh, look, on, uh, look online for all the events around Lakeland for New Year's Eve. We really do have some pretty fun things uh, in our area to do on Saturday night. Uh, so if you'd like to go out and do that. Otherwise, I wish you a very, very happy New Year. And we look forward to seeing you in the future. Uh, there's loads of links down below of any information areas. And also, if you have any questions, give us a call. We're getting a lot of calls about insurance and getting uh, a new four-point wind mitt uh, report. Uh, we'd be happy to help. Uh, also, we've been talking to our lenders this week about plans for 2023. If you'd like to get an equity report, let us know so you can see if you want to pay down any credit cards, refinance remodel, do any updates, things like that, uh, let us know. All right, guys, have a super day. Talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye.